You've probably seen an ad like this and think that bananas are the cause of your belly fat. And if you didn't know, fruits are mainly carbs. Everybody's talking about cutting out carbs, so we should cut out fruit, am I right? No, no, don't do that. Your body's not gonna like that. I'll show you how you can enjoy fruits and still lose weight. If you wanna learn how to lose fat and keep it off without giving up your favorite foods, then subscribe and hit the notification bell for new videos every Thursday. The only way to lose weight is to be in a caloric deficit. If you're new to the channel, I'm happy you're here. My name is Vivian, I'm an online fitness and nutrition coach, and my clients eat whatever they want. I make sure they're in a caloric deficit and they lose weight, so long as their metabolism is healthy. A caloric deficit is basically eating less calories than your maintenance calories. Let's say that you maintain your weight on 2000 calories and you're able to lose weight on 1,700 calories. So long as you eat 1,700 calories in a day, you will lose weight, regardless if you're eating fruits, brownies, or chicken breast. Comment down below if this makes sense or if you have any questions. Fruits can actually help you lose weight because they're filled with fiber and water, which helps you feel fuller longer. They're also jam-packed with vitamins and minerals so that your body is functioning properly, like a well-oiled machine. And they're sweet, so they're really nice to eat. And so what if fruits are carbs? Carbs are just one of the three macronutrients that fuel our body. And if we go back to the bucket thing, one gram of carb is four calories. So if you fit fruit into your daily caloric deficit, then you have to lose weight. It's the law of thermodynamics. You can't break a law. Like, like it's like trying to break gravity. You can't break the law of gravity. Nope, I tried. If you wanna know how many calories and macros you should eat to lose weight, then download my free nutrition guide in the description box down below. If you liked the video, press the like button. If you like the kind of stuff I put out, press the subscribe button. So we know that fruits are good for your health because they have fiber, vitamins, and minerals. But what about bread? Is bread good for your health? Will bread make you gain weight? If you want to find out, hit the notification bell so you don't miss my new video next Thursday. I really like fruits. I don't know if I have a favorite, but like I really like mangoes and apples and white, ooh, white nectarines. Oh, they're so good. Oh, comment down below if you have a favorite fruit. Thank you so much for watching. I'm grateful for you, and I hope your life is filled with gratitude too.